Every weekend, Book TV brings you 48 hours of history, biography, and public affairs. Here's a quick look at one of our programs. First of all, I'm a child of globalization. Um, I was born at a time when large numbers of African countries had just gotten their independence, were getting their independence, uh, uh, or were independent for a while. Mm -hmm. And that entailed, uh, in Africa, in the context that I was born in, and later I found out, places in Asia, that there were these coups, despots that mm -hmm. took over power very quickly. And people in the, I don't want to use the word class because we hadn't reached in Africa the level where we could call ourselves class. But let's say clans, groups of people were either persecuted or they were persecuting others. And those of us who felt persecuted by uh, those in power started to move around. We left our countries of origin and went elsewhere. And that was easy to do and that means I had lived or was born into globalization without even realizing that that was that I was in a globalizing world. When I hear people use the word multicultural, I think back of my school in Muslim girls secondary school in Nairobi, where we came from. All of us came from different cultures, and we were all in search of a better life and economic progress. But to move from A to B, from country to country, from language to language, from hemisphere to hemisphere, seemed just so much more so much easier and more, uh, let's say, we took it more for granted than my grandmother's generation. And then we come, I come of age in the information age, mm. so rapid modernization that I think generations like my mother and my grandmother somehow didn't, uh, it, got a taste of it, but didn't grow up in. Um, I. Uh, I'm not just a child of globalization, but I'm also a child that is intellectually comes of age after 1989, uh, after the fall of the Soviet Union. Why was that the case? Um, how did that impact your life uh, directly? Um, it impacted it directly if we accept Samuel Huntington's thesis that there is a clash of civilizations and that there is a clash between the West and Islam mm -hmm. in the sense that I was born into the Muslim civilization as defined by Huntington and lived it and breathed it, uh, was committed to it, was loyal to it, believed in it and left it and came to the West and did the same thing, lived it, breathed it, made friends you know, made my future here and was able as an individual to compare uh, not just the geographical differences and not just, you know, the mundane material differences, but the differences in value systems. Mm -hmm. And I came to really appreciate one over the other and I made a choice. And uh, I think that makes it, uh, if, if, you're, if you're looking to what is it that informs how I interpret events today, the events that we're living in in an everyday life, that informs it, I think, more than anything else. The fact that I've been exposed to both worlds, exposed to the thinking in both worlds, and that I feel that I'm able to compare them. And, and uh, my opinions are, you know, one of many, one of a thousand opinions. It, it's subjective, uh, it's my opinion, but that's how inter I interpret facts that, and events that we are living, living history today. You would say that um, uh, a number of the primary factors that influenced your thinking are derived from your being part of and being influenced by globalization, your being part of a tribe. Um, you're also, as I understand it, you're also your own background in terms of your education and uh, being exposed to multicultural circumstances. Would you say that's, that's sort of the foundation on which uh, your book is derived from and your very being? Uh, yes, the only thing I would add to that mm -hmm. is that I have been exposed to different types of education. My grandmother and my mother and my Quran teachers have given me a different set of education mm -hmm. from what I would, you know, what I would call, what I would label a Western education. Western education was in individualism. Mm -hmm. It was in responsibility. It was in a sense of adventure. 
uh, not just adventure in going, you know, traipsing all over the world, but adventure in, for instance, into the unknown, uh, science, reason. Uh, that, for me, is what I associate with the West. And my grandmother, my mother, and my Quran teachers and preachers uh, educated me in loyalty to the clan, tradition, and loyalty to God, and the hereafter, loyalty to the Prophet Muhammad and following in his example. So I was educated in both places, but the educations are radically different. You don't have to wait for the weekend to watch our programs. Watch online at booktv.org and follow us on Twitter.